Hey, I'm Jake. And I'm Allie. We're your broadcast anchors for this week's broadcast, Friday, April 27th. You watch YouTube, right? Yeah, why? Hunter, Lexi, Madison, and Madeline are doing a YouTube challenge with jelly beans. Oh, cool. Let's watch it. Welcome back to our channel, and where... Where did you guys... They're always disappearing when I need them. Anyway, this week, we're doing the Bean Boozo Challenge. Let's get this video started. Bean Boozle Challenge is where there's two look-alike jelly beans, but they have different taste. One is a good taste and one is a bad taste. You have to chew it up and see what you get. Well, I'm here with Shania and Erwin, and they're going to be first to take on the Bean Boozle Challenge. So what you're going to do is who wants to go first. So you're going to spin this. Okay, you got chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Okay. So now. No, I'm good. Okay, <laughs> now your turn. So you got caramel corn or moldy cheese. So that must be. That you're like not spitting it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm here with Beverly and Ashlyn to do the Bean Boozle Challenge. So who wants to go first? Okay, so all you're gonna do is spin it over and see what you get. Okay. Okay, so you got lime clicking, long clippings or lime. You can spit it out if you need to. Not lying. Cool. Okay. So now you're gonna spin. Okay. So you got tutti fruity or sticky socks. <laughs> so remember, you can always spit it out. Tutti fruity. <laughs> Good job, guys. So I'm here with Dante and Dylan, and they're next to take the Bean Boozle Challenge. So who wants to go first? Okay, so you're gonna spin it. And you've got lime or bone clipping. Okay, so you got chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Of your life. Of your life. And So I'm here with Miss Johnson and Mr. Mortensen, and they're next to take on the challenge. So who wants to go first? Mr. Mortensen. Okay, so you're going to spin okay. it. So you've got strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish? Strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> Smoothie. Oh, sweet. Okay, now you're going to... Okay, you got tutti your stinky socks. <laughs> oh, please. Stinky socks. No. Stinky socks. Fruity tutti, tutti fruity. Yay! Yay, we won! <laughs> That was this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a big like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Wow, that was great. Yeah, that was. I like when they do the Bean Boozle challenges. Yeah, me too. Are you looking forward to 8th grade? Not really. I think it should just stay summer forever. Oh, well, when we are in 8th grade, we might be interviewed just like Mackenzie and Catherine did. Really? That would be great. Roll the clip so next year will come around faster. Hi, I'm Katherine Palmer, and I'm going to be interviewing 8th graders on their dream careers. I'm here with Angelo Johnny Patino. So, Angelo, what's your dream career? Uh, my dream career is to be a drag queen. What classes in high school are you going to take to achieve this? Um, most likely cosmetology. What are the benefits of your career? I just want to break gender stereotypes to become a drag queen because I don't believe in gender. Why do you want to be a drag queen? Well, because I just want to show the world what I am inside. Throughout my life, I had been hiding through a mask of being um, someone else, and now I've decided to blossom, as people would say.
Thank you, Angelo. I'm here with Andrew Johnson. Andrew, what's your dream career? I would like to be a physical therapist or a sports trainer. What are the benefits of your career? Uh, I get paid a pretty good amount of money, so that's good. I'm here with Bella Herman. Bella, what's your dream career? Uh, I would like to be a medic in the Air Force. What classes in high school are you going to take to achieve this? Um, uh, ROTC and eventually Biomed. What's the benefits of your career? Um, I get a bill to help me go to college after I've ser served for four years. Yeah. Thank you. I'm here with Ryan McDonald. Ryan, what's your dream career? Being in the Air Force. What classes in high school are you going to take for this? Air Force JROTC. What are the benefits of your career? Um, I get to save people's lives and fly a bunch of jets. Thank you. I'm here with Brock Compact. Brock, what's your dream career? Um, my dream career is to be um, a police officer and then soon move up to like the higher stages of police officer, so like SWAT kind of. What classes in high school are you going to take? I was thinking psychology. Why do you want to be a police officer? Um, because I feel like it'll bring like I feel like it'll bring my personality out because since I was like five, I've always wanted to be a police officer. So, thank you. I'm here with Aiden Moore. What's your dream career? I want to be a marine biologist. What classes in high school are you going to take to achieve this? Hmm, honestly, I'm not quite positive. Maybe the biology, possibly. How is this going to help you with your future career choice? Well, I love the, I love the ocean and all, and also I want to save an, endangered animals such as sharks. I'm here with Jaden Davis and Richard Oliver. A.K.A. Jan Jaquees. So, Jaden, what do you want to be? A SoundCloud rapper. Richard, what do you want to be? I'm trying to play pro football for the Oakland Raiders. What classes in high school are you going to take to achieve this? I don't know what classes. How about you? Uh, weightlifting, <laughs> PE, and other than that, I got to train hard, work hard. What's the benefit of your guys' career? Um, I get to get rich and support my family. <laughs> and everyone else who didn't make it, I'm going to show them that I'm going to do it, and I can make it, and I can be anything I want to be. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be... Driving all these foreign cars. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Mackenzie and Catherine. I wonder what eighth graders accomplished during passing period. I do too. Speaking of that, we have Jay, Chase, Michaela, and Sebastian listing things you can do during passing period. Really? I wonder if I could use my time more wisely. Maybe you'll learn something from it. Roll the tape. Passing period can be used to accomplish many things. It can be accomplished a right way or a wrong way. So keep watching to find out if you're using your three minutes correctly. This list of pull-up things you can accomplish in a three minute passing period. This list includes getting to class, using the bathroom, going to your locker, or even time for extra activities, like checking your phone and punching the teachers. Make sure to manage your time wisely. It's 7.30. I should probably get going. Don't talk to your friends in the bathroom. your locker with useless stuff.
not gonna prank today. Hmm. I wanna play Fortnite for three minutes. Oh crap! I'm late! Don't play on your phone. I should probably get to class. Last thing we want you to do is stop in the middle of the hallway and talk to your friends for five minutes, and then block other people from getting to their classes. Walk and talk. Don't stop and talk. A message from Skyview's Broadcasting Studio. I have to go to my locker. Why? Because I don't want to be late for class. Oh, you're going. I didn't know you could accomplish all that during a passing period. Well, I didn't either. So what do you do during passing period? Normally I go to class. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. When you were walking to class, did you see Maddie, Bryson, and Blake interviewing other seventh graders? No, why didn't they interview me? I don't know. Oh man, that sucks. Just cry about it while the next clip rolls. Hi guys, I'm Bryson, and today I'm going to be interviewing seventh graders about their must-haves in school. Hey guys, I'm here with Alexander. With explanation, what is something you must have in your backpack? My iPad and candy, because I need my candy because it's fruity and sour, and my iPad to do work on. Um, with explanation, what is something you must have in your locker? A jacket and my binder, so I can grab my jacket if it's cold outside and my binder so I can take notes if I need it. What is something you must have in the bathroom? The, the toilet and toilet paper and soap and water because I need to wash my hands after I use the bathroom. With explanation, what is something you must have in your notebook? Notes and more notes. Hey guys, I'm here with Elena Jimenez. Um, what is something you must have in your pencil case? Uh, mainly like my stylus, a charger, if anything, a, a pencil, because it's called a pencil case. <laughs> what is something you must take to class? Myself, <laughs> my iPad, <laughs> my charger, and my stylus. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is something you must have when taking a test? Our iPads, since we use our iPads whenever we take tests. Um, Notes, if you're allowed to have them. Uh, what is something you must have to get through school? Good grades. What is something you must have in the bathroom? Toilet paper. Soap. Hey guys, I'm here with... Ethan. With explanation, what is something you must have in your backpack? Well, I'm on the iPad team, so I always need my iPad. And sometimes we do paperwork, so a pencil and paper. What is something you must have in your pencil case? Pencil. That's really all I have in that. And what is something you need in your binder? Paper. Stuff that you'll need for the school year. Because if you come to class unprepared, then you can't do what you're doing in class. With explanation, what is something you need to take to class? I need to take my backpack to class because that's got all my stuff in it. Because I keep everything in my backpack. With explanation, what is something you must have during a test? A pencil. I like to have water just in case I get thirsty. Hey guys, I'm here with... Kaden. What is something you must have in your backpack? Um, I think I'd have to be like an iPad charger just because I am on the iPad team and it like goes down really fast because we're always on it. What is something you must have in the bathroom? Toilet paper. What is something you must have during lunch? I think it would be my food because I need to eat. I usually don't eat breakfast. So. What is something you must have in your notebook? Paper because I like to jot down notes when the teacher is talking. So. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Back to you, Anchors. Oh man, we weren't in it. Maybe next time. Do you ever wish you had a genie and a smoothie? All the time. Well, John, Joey, Tyler, and Anaya made your wish come true in their new film. Really? It's awesome. Let's go watch it. Man, I wish I had more ears on the team. Maybe with someone who has powers can get me more juice. Hmm, maybe a genie.
I'm Smooth. You need to be genie. You have two wishes. Why not three? I can't afford three. I can't even afford to comb to comb my hair. I want Arizona juice. Hmm. Your wish has been granted. What is your wish? I want to find a chair. Alright. Wah! Man, this is so cool. I'm glad this lasts forever. Look at all the good I can do with this. I'm going down! What happened to my flying chair? I can't afford for you to fly in a chair forever. After all, I'm living in a chair. Anyways, I can't afford to stay here any longer. See you on the flip side. Uh, why did he lie to me? I shall go crazy and fly on this magic chair on my own. I wish I was in sixth grade again. Man, I do too. Well, wanna go look at the sixth grade interviews? Okay, but it might get sad. Why? Because I miss sixth grade so much. Hey guys, I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Connor. And today we're gonna be interviewing sixth graders about this year's experience. Did you find this year more challenging than fifth grade? This year had some more challenging parts, but also easier. It was mostly a review. Are you excited for something? Right? Yes, but I'm not looking forward to testing. What electives are you signing up for? Um, I signed up for art and Spanish. Are there any sports you want to compete in? Um, I want to do volleyball. What did you learn this year, and did you like it? I learned. Uh, I'm not really good at that. I could at math, so I learned a bit, like, I learned more things that could actually help me, like, more fractions or decimals or, like, order of operation. I actually did learn a lot of that. Um, and what are you looking forward to in some period? I'm looking forward to learning a lot of new and things that I didn't learn. Are you excited about some grade? Mm-hmm. Yes. Why? Because the seventh grade is my favorite thing because I love seventh grade. I'm going to be in next, next school for seventh grade. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite moment of this year? I, my favorite thing about, I see Wonder, I see Augie from the character, and it's my favorite character. And I always like movie, and it's my favorite. What class are you looking forward to next year? Um, honor choir. Because it's what I love to do. Love to be in a a group that sings with like people. Did you set a goal for this year? What was it, and did you reach it? Uh. It was to get all A's, and I sort of reached it, kind of. Thanks to all the sixth graders. Soon to be seventh graders. Bye, Scabby. Peace. Thanks, Austin, Connor, Conrad, and Malia. What's next? I think it's the announcements. Oh, really? Do you know if there are any announcements for the sixth graders? Oh, I don't, but want to go see? Sure. On May 3rd, library deadline to turn in library books. Hey, graders, do you want your photos to be in the 8th grade only photo slideshow on the last broadcast? Email your photos to Miss Jeffrey.
Hey Ali. Yes, Jake. Did you know about any of the announcements? Yes, I did. You know how I know? How? Because of the announcements that go off every day and reach. Whoa, hey, that's right. It looks like it's the end of our broadcast. Oh, okay. Bye! Bye. Richard! What? Shut up! <laughs> I'm filming this podcast. You want to YouTube, bro? We're in your broadcast it. anchor. Hunter, Lexi, Madison, and Madeline are doing a YouTube show. Hunter, Lexi, Madison, and Madeline are doing a YouTube challenge.